we've got Lorena Lee. Well, hello there. What is up, y'all? So we had the opportunity. Yeah, dog. I, I, I love your energy. I fucking some... love it. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Real quick, me, hold on. Before y'all talk. Hey, I'm here. Sorry. Um, so we had the opportunity last week at the Here Fort Worth Mixer over at Second Rodeo to meet some really cool musicians. I know Goolsby's here. Uh, hey, man, whatever. Where's Goolsby? Uh, <laughs> He's right there. Really I hope cool he remembers guy. the nickname he gave Chad. Nope, we're not going yep. there. So then we'll we talk about that later. got to meet Lorena. And we got to meet Joseph. JOE, of course, was there, but you know, we go way back. Yeah. So we got to meet y'all ahead of time, which is really, really cool because it takes a little bit of the anxiety away from us because y'all are big deals. You know what I mean? And we're just a few guys in a room. Oh, so you we appreciate so you being here. Oh, I feel so honored to be here. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all don't follow her on social media, which you probably will after this, she is hilarious on Instagram. <laughs> her videos today were obnoxious and in the best way. It was so good. It was so much fun. In the best way possible. <laughs> in the best way. Don't hide me up too much. The expect put the expectation low. Just keep like, the videos yeah. going and it'll be fine. Okay? Gas her up, everybody. Gas her up. Come on. Gas her up. Oh man. Cool. I love this. I love wow, the energy. This is hype. Yeah. Yeah, Thank fucking you. A. So tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm Lorena Lee. Oh hey. Yeah. Oh hello. Uh born and raised in Keller, actually. Uh but technically live in Fort Worth now. Yeah, I mean that's cool. close enough. I mean that's well, right I there. <laughs> My husband and I just bought a house in Fort Worth City. Oh, hey. Here we go. Oh, Here we go. Do not give the address. Do not give that address because yeah, well, I'm sure there's a lot of creepers here. But it, I mean, we're kidding. doing I'm like kidding. a gut renovation, so technically I'm there often, right. but not always sleeping there. Oh, you know, that makes so. sense. Yeah. <laughs> you're, so you're not trying to live in the renovation. More or less. I, I would yeah. not recommend it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tim did that for a little bit, yeah. and uh, I felt for him. Y'all got a camper because. <laughs> yeah, and, and, you know, we had holes in our kitchen floor and, like, gaping holes that you could see outside for a little bit. Yeah, it was it was a nightmare. Can't don't don't say gaping don't holes on air, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, man. Yes. Okay. There are children watching. All right, right local question it. time. I'm sorry. Local question time. What is your favorite weekend spot in Fort Worth? Oh, I mean, <laughs> tulips, obviously. Obvious. The music is always on point. The production, the people, the staff. Are it's you here every single weekend? Uh, I've been here a lot of weekends. Okay, <laughs> okay so that's true. Okay, Not cool. every single weekend, nice. though. But okay. yes, it is pretty on point here, I have to say. Yeah. We've been quite a few times. Never on this side of it, obviously. This is pretty <laughs> cool. This is different. But we've seen a lot of really good musicians here. It's a fun place to come, for sure. So you're known as uh, the Cowgirl Mermaid with Texas Charm. Yes. What is Cowgirl Mermaid? So, actually, when I first started, like, playing music, like, it was 2013, 2014, I was living in New York City at the time, and I moved to New York when I was 19 to pursue a professional dance career. Oh, okay. And that was going pretty good till I got injured. And then it was, you know, a classic story of, like, oh, man, if I keep at this rate, am I going to be able to have kids and pick them up someday, or is my body just going to be broken? <laughs> So, I don't know, that kind of got me, like, while I was injured and playing music, and then I met this producer through Craigslist, and then I met a band on Craigslist. You know, everybody used Craigslist nonstop in yeah. New York. And anyway, so that's how I got into playing music and playing the ukulele. And I lived four years in the city and then four years in Rockaway Beach, Queens. And when I moved out to Rockaway Beach... I started surfing, you know, landlocked here in Texas. Of course. I, like, never knew how much the ocean changes your soul. Oh, we got, yeah. got lakes. Especially at the Rockaway. Yeah, Lake Worth, come you, on. You, you, can't you can't surf beat Lake The Worth. lakes are lit. They are lit. But the ocean is also very, very, very lit. <laughs> yeah, no, the ocean trumps the lakes for sure. Yeah, you win. Yeah, for sure. But so, yeah, that, so I was, like, playing a lot of gigs out yeah. there, and I took my music very seriously. Like, I thought I was a Joe Patton you know, I thought I was like, here's this really thoughtful, lyrical folk song. Right. And one of my friends one day who came to a lot of my shows was like, I was trying to describe your music to somebody. And I was like, it's kind of like cowgirl mermaid music. 
<laughs> oh, because I should say that also when I moved to Rockaway Beach, people started calling me Sandy the Squirrel because I was like this real proud Texan and oh, rocking. I can see that. I totally see that. Yes. Yeah. Yes, the energy. I, I can see yeah, that. Yeah, I had a strong Sandy the Squirrel year of uh, being her for Halloween and a couple other things. <laughs> so, anyway, so he called it Cowgirl Mermaid music, and I was like, I am a kind of offended by that. But then a couple other friends were like, that is what it sounds like. <laughs> you do, you write about the ocean and you're like, sing with a twang and all this stuff. And I was like, what? And then I met my producer, Ernesto, who my album that's on Amplify 817, he produced that. And he got me like way more into the production of like synths and electronic music. And maybe at that time in my life, because of like with dance, <laughs> I was so, like, traumatized in a way that I was like, I don't want to, you know, and I did yeah. hip-hop and a lot of, like, very electronic-based music dancing. And so I maybe I was, like, against that commercialism. <laughs> and then, like, Ernesto got me back into it, and I'm like, hell yeah, like, this is what I am. Like, I like... So you finally sold on it. Yes, yeah, so then I just, like, when I sent it, I went full send. Just full-on embraced it. Full nice. Cowgirl Mermaid till I die. Yeah. <laughs> so that is you now. Yeah, that is me. Fantastic. Actually goes into my question. Um, so you choreograph your own dance moves on your music videos, right? Yes, I do. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah, I'm digging it. If you haven't had a chance to go. Collaborations always with the dancers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Watch your videos, you know, on YouTube. It's pretty fucking exciting. Like, I mean, a lot of dancing, a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 I love it. Can I say the F word? Yes. You can say whatever you want. Cool, I'm sorry. It's our I show, didn't, dude. I didn't know. Okay. So National Women's Day was yesterday, and you put up some of your influences on Instagram, and they included Shania Twain, Spice Girls, Tina Turner, Dolly Parton, and Miranda Lambert, right? Yeah, yeah. So do you feel like all of those influences come through in your music? I think so. I think, like... I would say Tina Turner probably comes more through in a live performance. Okay. I could, yeah. You know, than so much of, like, the music. But, yeah, I think I think so, more or less. Yeah, there's a little bit of all of them, I think. Right. Okay. So, any reason why you picked those ladies? Um, I mean, there's I mean, obviously, obviously they're all kind of a big deal. I mean, that's yeah. right. I mean... There's, like, hundreds to choose from. Right. I just kind of, like, yesterday was thinking, like, who are my tops? Well, everybody thinks it's Dolly Parton because I did a Hard Candy Christmas cover. Yeah, yeah. He's creeping. I have no idea what he's doing. Good service. What happened? What? Where the fuck's mine, Javier? What are you, Where are you talking about? these secret drinks? They're, they're just appearing out of nowhere. There's like, a little door back here I didn't know about? What? There okay. is. It's like an Adam's family hand. <laughs> yeah, bringing those. bringing drinks. Okay, that's weird. So you brought up, like, hip-hop. So what's your favorite hip-hop album? Oh, my God. Album? Talk yeah. about sub-questions. Okay, so album or, like, single? <laughs> is it appropriate right now to talk about Kanye West? I don't know. Oh, but yeah. I love Kanye it's West. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's all right. Yeah, not, for sure. <laughs> I, thank you, Mitch. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I love his music. I love his music. What's your favorite uh, Kanye album, and what's your favorite Kanye track? For me, probably, like, Graduation. Fucking it's A, It's, like, yes. typical, yeah, I know, but it is, it's really good. Like, I mean, but I love man, all yeah. of it. I'm not somebody who's like, oh, those were the days. Yeah. I, like, love the whole journey. Yeah. But I think, too, it's just, like, my memories of that time and that music yeah. and dancing to that music were, like, very pivotal. I met so. Kanye. I met what? him. Yeah, I did. He, he brings us up that? every Get single time. Get ready for a good story. Yes. No, I'm kidding. No, it's. No, I met him. Like, I shook his hand, and he, I have an autographed shoe. Like, it's, it's a whole what thing. What happened? What was it like? What did you feel okay, in your so, body okay. and your energy? So whenever like? I was there, I was like, okay, I'm not going to fangirl. I'm just going to be like, hey, Kanye, great to meet you. Here's, here's my shoe. Can you sign it? And I was like, <laughs> and I, I kept on saying, I met Kanye West. I'm never going to fail, you know? And <laughs> then loud. he just, and he, I did. And people were like laughing. And he actually giggled. And he was such a he was such a cool guy. He was such a good was it sport. Was like this and, though? Like, <laughs> yeah. It seems like a Kanye. Oh my god! Job. Like a Harajuku girl. If you see like, the picture, ridiculous. if you see the picture, it looks like he's not happy. Yeah, no, but, but he <laughs> I was. Seen the let, let me let me just tell you, like he was such a great guy at the time. Oh, he's still. I mean, whatever. Anyways, but you know, he uh, had a conversation with a little girl who was getting an autograph. He was really great. Signed everything. Everybody handed him. But, but I mean, gentlemen, all the way around. I don't know about now, but you know, Man, whatever. I love that. Yeah, he's. He was my, he was my idol, like in high school. 
And mean. he like definitely probably wanted to be your idol. So it was probably <laughs> equally meaningful yes. to him that moment. You I mean, know? Like, like touch the sky, like just like she, hey, I got plenty. Yeah. Like, I mean, you can sign this. Okay. No, no, not this one. Let's not go with the shoe. I was admiring earlier how all three of y'all have very nice sneakers. Thank you. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah, look at that sneaker. Sorry, I didn't want to put my shoe on the table. <laughs> no. So I, I bring this up whenever we have an artist on usually, and um, I, I kind of want to dive into, like, your writing process. Do you um, – come up with the melody first? Do you come up with just like sit there with the notebook and write lyrics? Is it a combination? Like what's, what's your process kind of entail? Usually it's a combination. And I'd say f- I, for me it all happens kind of simultaneously at once and pretty quickly, yeah. I, I think. I'm not really one to like – I mean, there's some songs I've gone back to and changed things, but usually kind of whatever I write in the moment sticks unless somebody that I work with and producing it just really doesn't understand what it means. But, yeah, it usually is. So do you, like, um, have, uh, you know, like, the voice app on your phone? It's full of just these random, like, sounds and stuff. And, like, okay, yes. I'm going to go back to this later. <laughs> yes, yes. You're, like, driving in your car and, and people watch you and they're like, what are you doing over there? Yes. And, yeah. Thousands of go back later. Or it's like, I would never release this, but maybe someday for a kid's TV show this will be – or. I don't know. If Yo Gabba Gabba was still on, yeah. that would be really, really cool. That could really work for that. <laughs> yeah. Let's bring it back, everybody. <laughs> Love it. So do you have your phone? You're going to share us with us all those? Oh, you guys. No, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do that. I that actually was, just posted uh, some today on my Yeah, Instagram. I saw that. That was yeah. hilarious. Like, it was very, you did a really good job. Like, you know. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Props to you. <laughs> oh, Appreciate it. The hands of back. Oh, there's, there's a, hey, man. The um, more drinks keep popping up. Yes, sorry. The troll came. I mean, the drink, drink troll. troll came. The the drink fairy. There, drink yeah, fairy. There it is. Sorry, troll. I don't Thanks, know. drink What's fairy, or Adam's family hand. Right? Is that what you said? It's Adam's family hand. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. thing. No, yeah. thing's the hairy thing, right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yes, cousin, it's the hairy on. one. Okay, moving on. So, so um, <laughs> I I was looking at your socials and I saw that you were doing so like, uh, Joseph was talking about, uh. So far sounds. Yes, yes, I've done quite a few so far sounds. Yeah. Yep. And so you were in New York doing those? Yeah, I, I've done them actually in a lot of places because when I tour, when I've toured before in 2019, I toured a lot. And any city that I was struggling to get a show in, I would try and just fill in with the so far show. Um, and also, I've played a couple so far shows in England, which Ooh. has been very cool. Yeah. Really? Yeah. My husband's Irish, so when uh, I've been visiting him, you know, it's like oh, a cheap flight awesome. to England, and so if I could add some in. It was, yeah, <laughs> it, so, those were pretty cool. So whenever you were over there, like, how long were you there for? Because, like, I know when we were there for three days, and you pick up, like, the accent, and you're like, sorry. <laughs> like, you know, you bump into somebody. and you, I, I fucking heard it in your voice. <laughs> you know, whenever you bump into somebody, he'd say, sorry, you know, with the fucking accent and everything. I think I probably did it so better So did you that. pick that know. up? Like, I mean, if you're there long enough? Uh, uh, I mean, I, yeah, I could do it, but I... Try not to. No, like on, on per, like not on purpose. Like it just kind of oh, like catches. Yeah, yeah. Everyone yeah. else is talking that way, and all of a sudden you find yourself kind of talking that way. I feel like that naturally kind of happens, right? right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cheers. You come back to the United States, and everybody. I come to Texas, and I'm here. like, I know my goddamn right here. I know who I am again. Oh my god. Now give me some goddamn Marlboros. I'm just bleeding freedom in this place. <laughs> That's right. Texas. That's yeah. right. You're saying you will put a boot in your ass. It's the American way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, yeah, and my accent comes pretty quickly once I return home. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> so you posted something on Instagram. I'm going to straight up quote it because I, I, I felt it. It was nice. Oh. So you put, spent the last two years soul searching, strategizing, waiting in the wings so that when the waterfall of an industry starts up again, you'd be ready to jump and really fucking go. <laughs> I mean, that was good shit right there. So with that said, like, you've got a new single. you got a new video coming out. Like, what can you tell about, tell us about the new single? The new, I am really excited about this song. I, I, so I wrote this in, at the beginning of 2020. Yeah. And it was one of those songs that I recorded a month later, and it was totally done. And then just with everything happening, I was like, oh, I'll really wait to the summer, I'll wait to the fall. No, I'm going to do a Christmas album instead. Then 2021, 20, like, oh, I'll release. They just kept going. And then 
I don't know. And then I thought I was going to release it last October. It just didn't feel right. I yeah. don't know. I wanted to have all my ducks in a row. And that I didn't want to be, yeah. like, just randomly putting something out because it's, like, I've been done that so many times. And I wanted to be, like, really thoughtful. But it's somewhat, like, up to fate with stars aligning and a lot of things happening at once, too. So, I don't know. I'm excited for this single because I feel like the timing is right. I feel really excited to expose myself again. <laughs> ready to fucking go. You know, I like, yeah. you know, like, to, like, be on stage and share your heart with somebody is yeah. gets, like, kind of difficult sometimes after a while if you don't feel like there's a return of, like, okay, I feel, like, really purposeful in what I'm doing. Right. Or, like, just playing a ton of bar gigs where nobody's really listening, and there's, like, you know, sports on TV, and it's great, and I love that those things exist to make money. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just, like, a different... So, I think the pandemic helped put a lot of things in perspective for me of, like, oh, I, I, there's so many factors of being an artist that I like, but what I really like is playing live. Right. And I'm really excited to play this single live this Saturday at South by. Woo! So, I don't know if you know yeah, this. So I don't Let's know. That's go. Saturday, I feel, yeah. We're going to be I'm there. Saying, will you be there Saturday? We'll be there Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We're actually doing a podcast oh, from yeah. South by <laughs> on Sunday. So, we oh. can't wait to see you live. Yeah. Burr, 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 burr. We should have a sound machine. We're really bad at yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hooray. But why when you have such talent within? <laughs> right, yeah. Do live. <laughs> so, yeah, really excited about seeing you live. Excited about the single. Uh, you said the, the video's coming next Tuesday, week? Okay. 3.15. I'll release it then. At 3.15. 3.15 <laughs> oh, on 3.15. Maybe I should. Yeah. 3.15 on 3.15. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I worked also really hard on that music video. I re recorded it last summer. Yeah. I spent 40 hours paper macheing life-size disco balls for these two guys to wear. And Holy it, shit. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty excited. Did it's you say be paper mache? Yeah, disco balls. Okay. Pay attention. Paper mache <laughs> disco balls. Yeah, what's not to understand? It's know. right there in front of you, man. Quit bullying me. <laughs> so where can people find your uh, upcoming shows uh, and What's your social media? Do you have anything that you want to plug? My social media is the Lorena Lee, L O R E N A L E I G H. That's me, my birth name. Uh, so I'm Lorena Lee on pretty much everything, Lorena Lee.com. And Lorena Lee.com slash live has all my shows on it. Yeah. And then uh, I would just definitely want to plug, like, here for it worth always being so supportive of Amplify 817 and everything that us artists do in this community. I mean, especially like when I moved home from New York in 2018 to like, go for it. I'm gonna live with my parents, I'm gonna go on the road, I'm gonna do the whole thing. I'm gonna quit all these five New York City jobs and whatever. And I mean, I just, to be in this city, I feel so grateful to be here and to be from here and to be part of like, everything that here Fort Worth is doing and Amplify 817 in the library, it's like mind blowing. And when I tell my friends in other cities that are musicians about, people are, they wish they had this. It's amazing. Fort Worth is so supportive and big Tom Martins and Amplify make a huge difference. So yeah, just want to plug that. So support Visit Fort Worth and Hear Fort Worth and Amplify 817 because they're like literally the thread that I feel like has keep kept a lot of artists going through these last two years. Yeah, yeah. most definitely. I mean, we we wouldn't be able to the go to rope. South by without <laughs> Visit Fort Worth. True, That's absolutely. The reason we get to go. Yeah, we're we're pumped. We're excited. I don't know why they chose us among you know all the good people in Fort Worth, but we're going, and I'm stoked. We're the best. We're the best of the best. MVPs. According to Fort Worth Magazine and Fort Worth Weekly. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, we're, we're the best. Well, anything else you want to mention before we uh, move on to J O E? Yeah. Thanks for having we really me. We really appreciate on, you coming on. We'll see you this best. weekend. Yes. See you Ladies Saturday. and gentlemen, Lorena Lee. Thank you. Woo. Let's see. Woo! <laughs>